Hey, this is Jason with inflatableboarder.com and today we're gonna to be reviewing the 2018 iRocker Sport 11. Uh, now this board is a revamped version of the company's initial release. Uh, this board measures 11 by 30 by six. Uh, the board weighs in at 25 pounds and it's capable of supporting up to 385 pounds of weight. Uh, this is a good board for intermediate to advanced paddlers. It's not as wide as the company's other boards. Uh, so there's a trade-off in terms of stability. But if you're looking for uh, a board that's more focused on uh, performance, uh, this is a really, really fun board in the water. Uh, this new version features quad layer construction. Uh, the quad layer PVC construction essentially uh, results in a bomb proof board. The board's a little bit heavier than the previous model because of the beefed up construction. Uh, but it's a trade-off that's well worth it in our opinion. Covering the top deck of the board is a uh, new and improved EVA foam traction pad. It features a diamond groove pattern uh, and a really nice crocodile texture to it. Also at the rear of the traction pad is a wedged kicktail, which is great for performing advanced maneuvers like pivot turns. Midboard is a newly redesigned carrying handle. It features a, a sewn-in uh, soft neoprene cover, which is really comfortable uh, when you're carrying the board around. At the nose of the board are six stainless steel D-rings and a bungee cord storage area for stashing your dry bag and other accessories while you're out on the water. At the tail of the board is a high quality Hockey Roberts style inflation valve, as well as a stainless steel D-ring for attaching the included supply. The bottom of the board features a triple fin configuration. The two side fins are smaller, uh, they're fixed, and they are unbreakable, they're flexible. The center fin features a new fin attachment system, uh, replacing the previous locking pin system that iRocker used is a lever lock system. Uh, this fin system is super easy to use, there's no tools required. All you do is you simply drop the fin into place and then push it down all the way and push down the locking lever and it's super secure. Now let's take a quick look at what else is included with the board. First of all, you've got the iRocker backpack. This is basically the same exact backpack that was introduced last season. Uh, this is a nice uh, basic SUP backpack. There has been one small improvement for this season. iRocker added a convenient carrying handle to the side of the bag, which we really like. It gives you another uh, place to grab a hold of the bag and it's super convenient when you're pulling the bag in and out of the car. On the front and side of the bag, are compression straps for cinching the bag up when it's fully packed out. On the side of the bag is a mesh storage pouch, uh, which is perfect for holding the blade of your paddle. And then you can secure the, the shaft of your paddle using the compression straps. On the bottom of the bag are four rubber feet as well as a metal grommet, which allows the bag to drain. The top of the bag features a clear luggage ID tag as well as a uh, convenient grab handle. On the rear of the bag are two heavily padded, fully adjustable shoulder straps. There's also a fully adjustable sternum strap, which helps to stabilize the bag when it's fully packed out uh, and on your shoulders. The entire back of the backpack is fully padded. It's padded and it's covered by a very uh, breathable mesh material, which is super nice. Last but not least is a fully adjustable padded waist belt, which also helps to stabilize the bag when it's on your shoulders. The bag features dual zippers and it has a nice wide opening, which gives you great access to the bag's interior contents. The internal of the bag is pretty basic. There are no additional storage pockets or anything like that. Uh, the only thing is there are uh, two additional compression straps, which helps you to uh, keep the board in place once it's deflated and rolled up. Now let's talk about the included SUP pump. The company actually just made a change to their 2018 boards and they have begun to include a really nice upgraded dual chamber SUP pump. This is a really nice pump. It's highly efficient. It features, as I mentioned, dual chambers and there's triple action. Uh, so what that means is there's actually three modes that you can select. The first mode is max capacity. Uh, that's mode number one. You put the pump in mode number one when you begin inflating your board. When things start to get a little bit more difficult, you kick it into mode two, which is the medium pressure setting. And then ultimately you jump up to uh, position number three, which is max pressure. And this uh, gives you the additional power needed to get the board uh, fully inflated to the recommended PSI of 15 PSI. On the top of the pump is an integrated pressure gauge, uh, which indicates exactly how much air is in your board at all times, which is really, really convenient. The pump also comes with a nice mesh storage bag, uh, which is useful for keeping the pump and the included inflation hose together. The Sport 11 comes with iRocker's standard fiberglass shaft SUP paddle. Uh, this is a design that they introduced last season. It's basically a bomb proof paddle, very well tested design, very, very reliable. Um, it's got a, a nylon blade to it that has a thin rubber coating around the edge, uh, which really comes in handy as it protects the blade from getting chipped and cracked when it comes into contact with rocks and other hard objects. To assemble the paddle, all you do is simply line up the pin and the pin hole, depress the pin, slide it into place until it locks, and then you take the top portion 
of the shaft, slide it into place, line up the pins with the locking mechanism and close the locking mechanism. As you can see, once that's done, uh, there's no twisting at all. The paddle is very, very secure. You'll notice that the paddle and the handle of the paddle are color-coded to the board, which is a nice new feature that iRockers implemented uh, for 2018. They've color-coded both the blade and the handle uh, with the color of the board. This board currently comes in three colors, by the way. It comes in blue, white with blue stripe, and white with gray stripe. Also included is a 10-foot coiled sup leash. Uh, this sup leash also is color coded to the board. As you can see, uh, the one that I have here is blue. Uh, so that's, that's another uh, nice feature that the company's added to their 2018 lineup. Of course, the board also comes with an ISUP repair kit. Inside of the plastic canister is a valve wrench, a spare clip for the uh, fin attachment system, as well as three PVC patches for doing repairs. And last but not least, the company has thrown in a sticker pack for this year, which is a nice touch. And there's also a user manual, uh, which gives you the basic information uh, needed for uh, inflating your board and maintaining your board. Overall, this is a fantastic upgrade to the company's previous version of the board. We love the new design uh, and the uh, improved features. We also like the improvements that the company's done to their 2018 SUP accessory bundle. These are some of the best boards for the money on the market this year, and we highly recommend them. This board, as I mentioned, is more geared towards intermediate and advanced paddlers. Uh, if you're looking for uh, a board that offers a bit better stability, you're a new paddler, uh, or you enjoy paddling around uh, your dog or small children, this probably wouldn't be the, the, the most ideal model for you. Uh, we would recommend uh, one of the all-around models or the cruiser model, or also the Blackfin uh, premium line, which is really, really nice. The company just announced those new models in March. Uh, we've been really, really impressed with both of those models. This board is a lot of fun in the water. It's very, very durable thanks to the quad layer PVC construction. It's very rigid when it's fully inflated. Uh, this will go all the way to 18 PSI, but the recommended PSI is 15 on it. And at 15, it's very, very stiff. Performance-wise, it's a bit faster than the company's other models, and it glides and tracks really well in the water. So that does it for our review of the 2018 iRocker Sport 11. If you've got any questions at all about this board, please feel free to post them in the comments area below. We'll make sure to get all of your questions answered. If you'd like to get additional information on this board or to check the current price, visit inflatableboarder.com slash sport11. Again, that link is inflatableboarder.com slash sport11, or you can just click the link in the video description below. As of right now, the company's running a great promotional offer uh, on all of their 2018 range, both iRocker and Blackfin. Purchase any two boards and you get a nice discount. Uh, so to take advantage of that offer, just visit the link uh, in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below. And if you haven't already done so, we invite you to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So that does it for today. Happy paddling.